So here we are today on the bench, and we've got this Siglent SDM 3045X. This is my benchtop uh, multimeter, and when I turn it on, it does this. And it only does this. Let me turn this radio down a little bit here. Okay, anyway, so yeah, so it's just hung up on this splash screen, and I realized this uh, yesterday, I went to use it here on the bench and turned it on, and it never went past this splash screen, so I went on to Siglent's website and downloaded the latest firmware, except the latest firmware, to install it, you've got to be in the user interface, so that was a, that was a no-go. So I called Siglent uh, Tech Support today, and Joel over there in Tech Support was nice enough to email me a firmware fix, or well, I guess this particular firmware that he emailed me um, most of the time uh, recovers this boot up, hang up deal. Uh, I, I have spares of everything, so as soon as this uh, multimeter, this desktop multimeter went down. I put my spare in place, so it wasn't too upsetting that it um, it failed on me. And he also told me that he'd uh, send me an RMA if I needed, if this particular firmware fix that he sent me um, didn't work. So I've got it here on a USB drive, and we're going to give it a shot and see what happens. The instructions were pretty simple, just load the firmware onto a FAT32 formatted USB drive and uh, turn it on and let it do its thing. So we're going to we're going to find out here if this uh helps me out or if I'm going to have to send it off to get it uh looked at by Siglent. Let's see what happens. Hopefully it does something. I see it accessing the the drive there. So Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we'll be able to um, recover this thing. You know, it's kind of funny. It seems like everything these days is so software-driven. Uh, just everything. I, I work in avionics in aviation uh, as a career, and it's just mind-boggling to know in the last... Uh, I've been doing avionics for 30 years now, and it's just mind-boggling to see the, the, the extent of the changes in technology that have that have happened in the last 20 years. You know, um, it used to be that configurations for different avionics equipment and airplanes uh, mostly was done via what we call strapping, uh, meaning that there were pins on the, oh, look at that, it recovered. Wow, that is awesome. Uh, as I was saying, uh, it used to be that most of the uh, configuration uh, that was done on Avionics equipment was done via just uh, pins on the connector, uh, a connector on one of the, uh, or one of many connectors on a unit uh, that were strapped to ground. And depending on the pin configuration, strapped to ground gave you different configuration options, uh, options in the unit. And now it's just all software driven. And, and after an, uh, an, an avionics suite is installed, a new avionics suite in an airplane, it's just so much software that you've got to configure and install and it's all got to play together nicely from unit to unit or it just crashes everything and I would say a good 30% of any retrofit now is dealing with software and configuration on the back end it's just crazy but yeah hey I'm really glad to see that that fixed this unit um, that is awesome so he said uh, once, if it recovers, which it obviously did, uh, then just get this disc out of here and don't leave it in there. And otherwise, we'll just run the firmware again on, on boot up. So I'll go ahead and do that. So thanks to Joel over there at Siglent and Tech Support, which I think they're based out of Ohio, at least on the on the state side here. Um, for sending me the firmware and taking care of this for me. That was uh, 
that was great. And that also saved me from having to send this off for any type of warranty repair. And, you know, this has been a great unit. I, I can't complain about it. I mean, this obviously a software hang up, you know, Joel didn't write the software. Um, but I mean, functionality wise, it's been wonderful to have here on the bench. Uh, it's been a big help and it's got a lot of, a lot of features to it. It's a four and a half digit um, but you know that's all I need. I don't need anything more than that for the type of radio work I'm I'm doing on a regular basis in here. So yeah, it's it's been a great unit. Um, and you know, Siglin, all their stuff I believe has a three year warranty. I I believe as long as you don't send it to them sawed in half in that three years, they'll take care of it. So that's also pretty cool. I don't believe that most companies will extend their initial warranties out to three years so another nice feature for buying something from Siglent. my uh Siglent arbitrary waveform generator over there uh, well it's also Siglent is my point um i i and also my scope so all three i'm kind of a, a fan of Siglent stuff uh over rigel but to say th that being said I have a Rigel spectrum analyzer, which is also nice. You know, I, I really can't complain. The reason I got the oscilloscope is for its super phosphor display, which looks very analog-like. Uh, that's what I like about it. Plus, it's low profile. It's not like using a, an analog scope that would be, you know, more depth than this. Uh, it's very, um, very minimal on depth, and it fits up there nicely on the bench. And it has a great display, that super phosphor display. When you see waveforms on it, it just looks gorgeous. But anyway, back to this. And again, thanks to Joel over at Signalent for um, taking care of this. Anybody has an issue with their SDM uh, 3045X, uh, just know that uh, there is a firmware that is not on their website that tech support can email to you that hopefully would fix your problem if you have a hang-up problem like I just experienced yesterday. And that was the very first issue I've ever had with this multimeter in probably about 18 months that I've been using it. And like I said, I just had a spare sitting in a box waiting in the closet for something like this uh, if it was to ever happen. And it happened, but great, easy fix, uh, great tech support. So anyway, cheers to everybody, 73s.